9 ways to drive a MOSFET. Number 1. Direct drive. This is the direct drive method. You send a voltage straight from your logic to the gate of the MOSFET. You can control it manually by sending an on or an off pulse, or send a PWM signal. Since this is a low side MOSFET, the source of the MOSFET is always equal to ground. When connecting the gate to our positive rail, the gate to source voltage is also the signal voltage. And if it is more than your MOSFET's threshold, it will turn on. And to turn it off, you simply connect it to ground. What are the pros? It is simple, can be always on, can do PWM. What are the cons? Only low side switching. Number 2. Low side driver IC. This is a low side gate driver IC circuit. You can control it with a high or low signal. Or you can give it a PWM signal. It can take a 3.3 or 5 volt signal as an input. And depending on whether the signal is high or low, it will either send the driver's supply voltage to the gate to turn it on, or it will connect the gate to ground to turn it off. What are the pros? Can handle logic level, fast switching. What are the cons? You need an IC. Number 3. Push-pull. This is a push-pull circuit. You cannot use a pulse to turn it on or off. It needs a constant signal, like a PWM signal. This circuit amplifies the current sent to the gates. This allows for faster switching. Your microcontroller will thank you for this. When the signal coming in is high, the NPN transistor allows a larger current to come through from the supply, which is led to the gate. Then when the incoming signal goes low, the PNP transistor starts to let current through from the gate to the grounds and turns the MOSFET off. What are the pros? Faster switching, PWM, can be always on, it is cheap. What are the cons? It needs a constant signal. Number 4. Inverted level shifter. This is the inverted level shifter circuit. It allows us to send the voltage higher than the signal is to the gate. It is controlled by two separate pulse signals and it cannot run on PWM. When we pull the first signal to ground, the second PNP transistor will start conducting and discharges the gate into ground, turning the MOSFET off. And if we pull the second signal to the ground, the first transistor will start to conduct, and the supply voltage is able to reach the gate of the MOSFET, turning it on. What are the pros? Higher voltage to gate. Can be always on. What are the cons? No, P no PWM. Number 5. High side driver IC. This is the high side driver IC circuit. It cannot be controlled by manual signals. Only PWM will work. This is a safety feature. When a low signal enters the input pin, it connects the gate to the source of the MOSFET, turning it off. The source is then at ground level, and also the capacitor that is connected to it. This capacitor then gets charged by the supply voltage through the diode. And when the incoming signal is high, the positive side of the capacitor gets connected to the gate of the MOSFET. And since its negative side is always connected to the source, the voltage supply to the gate is always relative to the source. What are the pros? It is fast. It is safe. What are the cons? No manual signaling. No always on capability. Number 6. Bootstrap circuit. This is a bootstrap driver circuit. It works similar to the driver IC, but without the safety features. It can accept manual signaling. When the second signal is pulled low, the gate transistor starts to conduct. And the gate pin of the MOSFET gets discharged to the source pin. 
This turns the MOSFET off and causes the source pin to be at ground level. The capacitor's negative pin connected to it now also is at ground level. The capacitor can now charge through the diode connected to its positive pin. If the other signal is pulled to the ground, then the second PNP transistor conducts and the capacitor now charges the gate, turning the MOSFET on. The capacitor is still connected to the source, so the voltage applied to the gate stays relative to the source. What are the pros? It's cheap. It's fast. What are the cons? No always on. No PWM. Number 7. Floating gate driver. This is a floating gate driver. It works by using an isolated supply for signaling and driving and connecting its ground to the MOSFET's source pin. It can do manual signaling. It can also do PWM. What are the pros? It's simple. Can do always on. What are the cons? Needs a separate supply. Number 8. Optocoupler. This is the optocoupler driver. This circuit uses a second supply connected to the source of the MOSFET. The signals, however, can share the same ground with either supply. It can do manual signaling, but no PWM. When the first signal is pulled high, it powers the diode in the first optocoupler. This causes the transistor to conduct, and through the red jumper wires it connects the separate supply voltage to the gate. The ground of that supply is connected to the source pin, so the voltage is always relative and the MOSFET turns on. The other signal, when high, activates the second optocoupler. This then uses the two black jumper wires to connect the gate to the source, turning the MOSFET off. What are the pros? Can do always on. What are the cons? Needs a separate supply. Number 9. Charge pump. This is the charge pump circuit. It works a lot like the bootstrap circuit. It has a classic charge pump that charges a capacitor 8 volts above the MOSFET's supply voltage. When the first signal is pulled low, a PNP transistor conducts and allows the capacitor to charge the gate to an absolute voltage of supply plus 8, turning it on. The second signal, when pulled low, controls the gate transistor we have seen before. When this PNP transistor conducts, it discharges the gate to the source of the MOSFET. What are the pros? Can do always on. What are the cons? Needs relatively stable power supply.